Mark Carney, the new governor of the Bank of England, ventured north to the East Midlands for his first major speech outside London, trying to convince investors and businessmen that he was not going to raise rates anytime soon. Simon Nixon is here. Simon, uh, you watched the speech. Was there a convincing message there? Did he convince them this time he's really not going to raise rates? Uh, in the short answer, no, um, Charles. He, he, I mean, there was very little that was new in this speech, which was something that the market found pretty disappointing, actually. Uh, in the run-up to the speech, uh, gilt yields had fallen and uh, sterling had fallen against the dollar in anticipation that he would come back and sort of hit them with his message even harder. But actually, he didn't really say anything particularly new. And he's been, and, and Carney's been trying this for the better part of, uh, since he arrived really in London, he's been trying to uh, persuade investors that the, that the path of interest rates that they think is going to happen is not Yes, right. so the market basically, I mean, Carney's trying to say that the Bank of England won't raise interest rates until about, until 20, sometime in 2016 at the earliest. The market's looking at, looking at what's going on in the UK economy and saying, we don't believe you. We think you're going to have to raise interest rates in 2015. Uh, and some people think even sooner than that. Uh, and, um, and Carney, uh, so, but Carney's not managed to persuade the market that, uh, that they were, that they're wrong in their assumption. And partly that's because Carney himself doesn't really have that much power. He's part of a committee Indeed. of nine people and it's very clear that there is a range of views on that committee and, and also the Bank of England's forecasting record is so weak that people again it, it, looking at it thinking well you know why do, what do they know that we don't? I mean, what, what could, what theoretically could he have done or what were some things that, that investors or people in the markets were hoping that might have happened that might have been a little clearer? Is, is, is there an option for him at this point? Well I suppose you know they might have expected him to say something maybe more on, on the conditions which he might do more QE so if rates you know, stayed at a higher level than the bank thought appropriate that they could go into the market again. What's, what's the risk for him? Where does he, uh, what's, what's the risk to, to being more aggressive in, in doing whatever it takes to to, uh, to use a draggy phrase to, to keep to keep the expectations of interest rates down. Well, you know, he's he's part of a com committee. He just he chairs the committee, so he can't do anything on his own. So he has to, he's constrained, and he's also constrained because the monetary policy committee constrained him as well with a series of get out clauses around it. So you know, at the moment, all he can do is talk. Well, he has done a couple of one other new thing, or he claimed that was new, sort of new, sort of new in this. Uh, speech where he said he was relaxing the bank's liquidity the liquidity rules for the UK banks which he said would free up potentially free up 90 billion and that essentially says that the banks that had built up these liquidity reserves during the crisis to be able to have assets on hand and keep in case things went. He said 90, to 90 billion that they'd invested in gilts he's saying well look you know you could now spend that on lending to companies or to mortgages, but I mean that wasn't. But although he pretend, said that was new, that wasn't particularly new. There was a new element within that, which is that uh, he also appears to be saying that the banks could uh, invest more of their liquidity pool now in alternative assets like covered bonds, which and co corporate bonds and equities, and that would potentially presumably that's something the banks had wanted. And banks have been lobbying for that for a long time, and that would potentially add quite a lot of liquidity to those markets. Uh, which could be which could be useful. So that's a sort of that's sort of more another form of sort of unconventional policy to help try and drive down market rates elsewhere in the market. But, but indeed, the, 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 re the real the real sort of measure of success is whether there is more lending into the real economy. And so far, we haven't seen that, have we, in, in the UK? No, it's it's yes, it, and, and it's uh, you know there's it, it, it signs that it's starting to pick up, but uh, and certainly in the housing market, it's picking up. But but basically, no. I mean, that's uh, that's what he's trying to trying to deliver. Simon, thank you.